What's up, you guys? Welcome back to 10 Million in 10 Months. I'm Kim, CEO and co-founder of Listener Brands, Jones Curl Mix, and 4 Only. And today, I'm going to tell you why your customers hate you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you about how to get feedback from your customers. There's a few ways that I know how to get feedback from my customers. And this is important because you might think you're serving someone that you're actually not serving, or you might think that you're doing something for them that you're actually not doing. And if you don't actually reach out and ask through an anonymized survey, then you're not going to be able to get the information you need to build a better business to grow. All right, so let's get into it. But before I do, go ahead and click that subscribe button, please. Thank you. All right, let's get started. And this is stage one of a 12 part series of how to rebrand your business. And the first stage is actually getting customer feedback. This can be a little anxiety inducing for entrepreneurs because many of us, we wanna be the ones putting the stuff out there and talking to our customers. But what you realize is the only way that your customers can talk back to you is via the info email for your business or through social media comments. And that is not a sufficient way to get feedback from your customers. Um, even a Facebook group is great, but you still need to get all the data in one place and be able to see findings and insights from the various answers. So in these kinds of surveys, you're going to only survey people who are either current customers, so they've ordered within the last you know, 90 to 180 days, and lapsed customers, people who have may not ordered in over a year or more, or more than 180 days. And what you want to do is you find out how they're actually using the product. So for me, that meant what styles are they doing with their hair? How often are they doing their hair like this? What other, what other styles are they doing, right? So you might put a myriad of styles in the actual survey. You might say, what are your competitors or what are other products are you using? Are you only using Curl Mix? Uh, what other products are you using from people? Not just a brand, but maybe they're using a mousse from somebody else or, or something like that. Now, this is because I have a hair care business. These are all my examples. But you could have a t-shirt business and find out that people are buying gym shoes from a competitor where you could be making gym shoes. Or someone's buying t-shirts from, I don't know, the guy down the street because he has a better saying on them. But you don't know that, right? You need to figure out why people are actually purchasing from you. Um, and it was funny. I thought I had all black customers at one point. And then I actually did my survey and I found only 60 to 70% of my customers were actually black. And they were 30 to 40% other. And I was like, oh my goodness. I was like, where are these women? They're not posting in the Facebook group. And they're not, they were just continuing to buy, but not necessarily being active members of the community. And I wouldn't have known that had I not sent out the survey. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna send out, typically you send out a 30 question survey. You'd have questions about demographics in there. So what region do they live in? You have questions about psychographics. What's their favorite TV shows? Um, favorite thing to eat? How often they work out? If they work out? Um, you might ask how many kids they have. Or that's more demographics. Psychographics is about how they think about themselves and the things that they enjoy uh, with their time. Demographics are hard things, like how many kids you have, where you're located, how much money do you make, like that kind of stuff. And you can even compare the differences between your lapsed and your current customers and see either where things overlap or where they disconnect. So I found out my best customers, you know, were making nearly six figures. They were buying thousands and thousands of dollars of Curl Mix. And then my customers that I had successfully sold to, but really only want to buy when there's a deal, um, they didn't make as much money. And so sometimes I'd spend my marketing dollars on those customers, but they weren't going to stay even if they had a great experience because the product was too expensive. So I needed to figure out how to target my customers who are closer to six figures and um, acquire them as customers because they were going to stay longer and they were going to tell their friends. So I wouldn't have known this had I not gotten my customer feedback. Another way you can get customer feedback is through actual phone calls. Most of us never actually call our customers. And I was one of those people up until maybe a few months ago. I actually hired an agency to help me with my rebrand and then they did all like the research and kind of presented it back to me in like a hundred page slide deck, which was beautiful and something I could share with other people and it was amazing. But I got so much good insight but just calling my top customers. And I basically took the first 30, people I spent the most over the last three years and literally opened up my Google Voice phone and then I called everyone from my desktop. And I got maybe five people to answer and I just let them talk. You know, I had two questions for them. What are we doing really, really well and how can we improve? And you just write down everything they say. Notes and notes and notes. And sometimes this might be an hour long conversation where you have 10 questions for them. Sometimes it might be a five minute conversation and, and, and that's it. 
And I got some really tangible, in, like really good insight from them. And they were even reiterating things that were already in the Facebook group that other people were saying. So anytime you hear those common themes, you need to take action. It's com if there are common problems underneath all your customers' recommendations, maybe your shipping's too slow. Maybe you don't have travel size. Maybe you need samples. Maybe you need um, a fourth step for your products. And you learn all that by actually calling them. So if you're too afraid to call, your business is not gonna get better and it's not gonna grow. So call your customers. You could even do a focus group. You could have all of them show up in your city. But honestly, if you're too afraid to call, you're gonna be too afraid to do a focus group. So just call first <laughs> and then do the focus group later. The last thing you wanna make sure you do is have at least a thousand customers in each data set. So for the lapsed customers and the current customers, you want at least a thousand in each so you know you have good data. Sometimes if you only have like 10 people um, to respond, you don't have enough data to make actionable steps. You will be doing things based on a very small sample set of your customers. And so for us, when we did this, we had 5,000 respondents in each survey so that we would know that all 5,000 of these people think this way versus just like 10. And if you only did 10 responses and you have like a couple thousand customers, that's not enough. So you need to either incentivize them to take that survey um, by a discount. And if they don't want a discount, they might mean they not, might not like the product. Um, which this is also an opportunity for you to get feedback on your products too. Now you might find that they use more gel than moisturizer or more conditioner than shampoo. You don't really know that right now because you don't have the feedback. So Make sure you survey your customers and gather this data. They're either a 30 question survey with some kind of incentive, focus groups, phone calls. Um, and yeah, those are my three ways to gather feedback. 30 minute survey, focus group, phone calls. And I think that's pretty much it. But essentially, you got to talk to your customers. So that's stage one of rebranding. I hope this was helpful. Go ahead and comment down below what you're gonna do next and I look forward to seeing you guys. Oh, and next year, I'm thinking about having like a VIP day. So I'll bring people in our office where I am right now and I'll teach you about manufacturing, e-commerce and um, crowdfunding if you're interested. So let me go ahead and join my email list at kimlewisceo.com and if we launch something like that, you'll be the first to know. Thanks guys, have a good day, bye.